Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, do you hear me and uh, do yes. you see the presentation? Yes, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So, my name is Agam Akopian, and today I want to tell you about uh, a new type of tungsten carbide based catalyst for the aerobic oxidative desulfurization process. The growth in energy consumption and the associated increase in crude oil production lead to the need of developing uh, new fields in which the quality of oil produced is steadily declining. Sulfur content is uh, one of the key indicators of oil quality since sulfur compounds are among the main components of oil that pollute the environment. Organosulfur compounds contained in oil have a significant negative impact on various aspects associated with the processing of such oil. In particular, the slide shows the main types of negative impact of sulfur-containing compounds. Among them, uh, the following should be highlighted. It's the negative impact of, on uh, human health, uh, you know, hydrogen sulfide and mercutans are toxic to humans. Uh, Organosulfur compounds are corrosive components. Uh, the sul high sulfur content in oil produced has a <clears throat> negative effect on internal combustion engines. Various sulfur containing compounds are catalytic poisons for most known oil refining catalysts. Sulfur containing compounds have a negative impact also on the environment. In general, the known methods for reducing sulfur content can be classified into two large blocks. The first is the hydrogen methods. Uh, it should be noted that today the industry for the removal of sulfur compounds is, uh, is hydrogen methods uh, that are used, among which hydro treatment occupies a special place. The hydrocracking method is also used. The existing hydro treating technology allows to essentially reduce the sulfur content in the refined petroleum products. However, the implementation of uh, this technology requires high capital costs, uh, evaluated temperatures and pressures, which are inaccessible for small oil refineries. Uh, Hydrogen-free methods of uh, sulfur reduction are not widely used in the industry, but there has been intensive work in this field recently aimed at improving the efficiency of these processes. Among the hydrogen-free methods, uh, solvent extraction, adsorption, oxidation, uh, and biodesulfurization should be distinguished. Uh, alternative hydrogen-free methods have the advantage of low capital cost, low process temperature and pressure, and no need for, for hydrogen, which is not available for uh, small uh, refineries. Among the hydrogen-free methods, the most interesting is the oxidative desulfurization method. This process is based on a two-stage process. At the first stage, organosulfur compounds are oxidized to the corresponding sulfoxides and sulfones. These compounds are significantly more polar and can be easily recovered using standard extraction or adsorption techniques. A distinctive feature of the process are mild conditions, temperature up to 150 degrees of Celsius and pressure up to 10 bar. Among the oxidizing agents, oxygen, ozone, alkyl peroxides, inorganic oxidizing agents, and hydrogen peroxide should be distinguished. Typical catalysts for these processes are acids, oxides, transition metal salts. The number of works in the field of oxidative desulfurization has uh, recently increased significantly. It should be noted that uh, in most works, environmentally friendly hydrogen peroxide is used as uh, oxidizing agent. <clears throat> but uh, an increase in uh, total sulfur content in the feed requires significant volumes of this oxidant, which increases the cost of such purification and complicates the practical implementation of this approach to oxidative desulfurization. Therefore, using air oxygen as oxidant appears to be the most viable approach to development of novel oxidative desulfurization techniques. The key issue for the use of air as an oxidizing agent is finding a catalyst that would allow the selective oxidation of alpha containing compounds in a hydrocarbon environment. One of the key disadvantages of uh, 
uh, known uh, catalysts are difficult synthesis uh, procedure which negatively affect the cost of uh, such purification. The, uh, we should know that pure tungsten carbide also is synthesized at high temperatures and using the laborious procedure. In this work, tungsten carbide deposited on activated carbon was obtained uh, via microwave synthesis. The target catalyst was synthesized in two uh, steps. Uh, at the first stage, uh, tungsten carbide on uh, carbon was obtained uh, using the microwave method, which reduces the synthesis time to 15 minutes. It's at the second stage, uh, activation was carried out by oxidizing the obtained carbide with atmospheric oxygen to obtain the target uh, catalyst, which contains tungsten oxide in an intermediate oxidation state. The XRG patterns of the synthesized tungsten carbide contain mainly diffraction pinks from tungsten monocarbide. Uh, whereas uh, XRG pattern of sample activated by oxidation includes mixed phases of uh, tungsten subcarbide, uh, tungsten, and tungsten dioxide. These figures present the content of the detected phases in uh, activated carbon powder. The synthesized and activated sample have a uh, type 2 isotherm. Uh, with uh, each one type high stress flow. It should be noted that activation procedure doesn't affect the texture characteristics uh, of the initial sample. In the infrared spectrum, there are peaks attributed to uh, stretching vibration of WC, stretching modes of tungsten oxide vibration, and there are also peaks attributed to the uh, vibration of quinone groups and the peak attributed to the stretching vibration of CC bonds. The XPS spectrum is a combination of three states of tungsten associated with tungsten in the composition of carbide, oxidized tungsten presumably in the composition of tungsten uh, trioxide, and partially oxidized tungsten in the composition of tungsten uh, dioxide. It's important to know that after the activation process of the surface layer of the tungsten carbide sample changes Comparison of the two spectra shows that after oxidation, the content of tungsten in the form of carbides significantly reduces. The intensity uh, of the carbon component zero increases in the activated sample, which indicates the partial oxidation of carbon during the uh, activation process. According to the same micrograms, the sample have a grain structure with an average grain size of approximately 50 to 90 <clears throat> nanometers. The ED aspect of tungsten carbide samples contain two elements, tungsten and carbon, where the activated contain oxygen in addition to tungsten and carbon. Uh, so uh, you can see the results of catalytic experiments, which indicate that only activated tungsten carbide uh, uh, exhibits a significant catalytic activity in the aerobic oxidation of dibenzothiophen uh, as small substrate. At the same time, the tungsten carbide without activation, this one, uh, shows results worse than the control experiment. This effect uh, possibly indicates that tungsten is oxidized under the reaction conditions, which leads to the consumption of the oxygen and reduces the rate of uh, substrate oxidation. We know that the tungsten uh, trioxide has practically uh, no catalytic um, activity in aerobic oxidation. Uh, in the presence of uh, so the results of the experiment involving uh, Carbon shows that the metal sensor tungsten play, plays a key role in the oxidation of sulfur compounds. This once again emphasizes the importance of tungsten in a, an intermediate oxidation state for the activation of oxygen.
Varying the amount of uh, catalysts show that the increase in its dosage leads to an increase in DBT conversion. Note that the initial part of kinetic curve, um, the DBT conversion is higher for low dosages, which indicates an increase in the um, induction period with uh, an increase in the amount of catalysts. Uh, the conversion drops uh, sharply with the decreasing temperature, which is in agreement with literature data. This effect is due to the activation of atmospheric oxygen, which occurs at temperatures above, above 110 degrees of Celsius. Temperature of 120 degrees um, is optimal because this is the minimum temperature uh, at which it's possible to achieve uh, exclusive complete oxidation of the substance. We have also studied uh, the effect of air pressure on the conversion of uh, substrate. Note that the mm, uh, minimum pressure of two bar, the oxygen sulfur ratio is uh, 17 to 1, which is enough for oxidation substrate. However, DBT conversion increases with uh, increasing the pressure from 2 to 6 bar, which is associated with the increase in the solubility of oxygen in hydrocarbon fractions. The activity of various classes of uh, organosulfur substrate decreases in the series uh, methyl phenyl sulfide, methyl dibenzothiophen, uh, dibenzothiophen, and dimethyl dibenzothiophen, and then benzothiophen, which is uh, associated with two main factors the electron density on sulfur atom uh, as well as the steric hindrances. Uh, it is known from the literature that the addition of a radical fat to the system makes it possible to determine how oxygen is activated. In particular, it was shown in literature that active centers consisting of tungsten in an intermediate oxidation state can activate oxygen by forming a superoxide radical. The formation of this radical was confirmed by the addition of benzoquinone, which is a well-known superoxide radical trap for, to the uh, system. According to the results, the addition of benzoquinone to the system leads to a sharp decrease in the degree of dibuta conversion, which in turn indicates that the formation of superoxide radicals is the main mechanism involved in DBT oxidation. And uh, in the presence of uh, potassium iodide, uh, slightly affects the oxidation of DBT, reducing the conversion to uh, 53%. To determine the possibility of reusing uh, the synthesized catalyst after the reaction, the activated tungsten carbide was separated by centrifugation, washed with acetone from the formed sulfone, dried at uh, temperature. 80 degrees of Celsius under the reduced pressure and used to oxidize a fresh portion of the model fuel. Uh, note that no significant change in the activity of the catalyst is um, observed upon reuse. And the span catalyst after six cycles of oxidation was analyzed with XRD. We would like to note that after the oxidation, the phase uh, composition of the catalyst practically uh, didn't change. And here in the table, we can see the date on aerobic oxidation for uh, organic substrates um, in the presence of tungsten and vanadium containing catalysts known in the literature. It should be noted that after a few works uh, in the literature on the use of tungsten oxides for the process of uh, aerobic uh, oxidative sulfurization, uh, among the studied catalytic systems that catalysts synthesized in the present work. Uh, makes it possible to reduce the time required to complete oxidation to three hours. Also significant that the, the synthesis of the catalyst started in the work uh, takes only 15 minutes and the equation stage uh, two hours. This result is uh, unattainable for the current non systems, all of which <clears throat> take a much longer time to synthesize. Uh, thus, tungsten carbide was synthesized using microwave method, uh, which provides the possibility of rapid synthesis. The simplicity of the synthesis of this catalyst, the availability of the components for the synthesis, high activity and stability 
open uh, prospects for its further application, both for oxidative desulfurization and for uh, other uh, reactions of uh, aerobic oxidation of various organic substrates. Uh, thank you for your attention. The Forder Sour Group, which is engaged in the process of active uh, oxidative desulfurization.